All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Tears of the Kingdom Let's Play. And yes, if you guys go, would probably tell that we're finally here at the third of the shrines. And uh, we should probably make our way on into this place because this whole area is really annoying uh, just because of the outside area. If you guys don't know, this is where things are going to start changing around with the different climate, and uh, we will start to be losing hearts within this area. Now, I already went and off record out a um, majority of all the stuff that was happening to reach on over here to this shrine, uh, but I do do have some items to go and basically show off to you guys and if you guys go and see for right now we do have a shield uh that we do have with link right now at this point in time um but anyways uh here in this area we are going to get ourselves one of the other different abilities this is going to be known as the ascend and uh this area is really easy if i have to say so myself um i already went and did a little bit of a practice test run uh before heading on into this area i know that i was typically supposed to be going into this blind and just kind of figure this out for myself uh, but after the whole uh, annoyingness of everything that was happening here with this dungeon and having to figure out where I needed to go because I was super lost within this place uh, because there is a particular puzzle uh, that happens a little bit before heading on into this shrine where you have to like build some logs and reach on over here to this place and uh, having to do that and also losing hearts at the same time was going to be somewhat of a very annoying type of problem so i wouldn't want to have to show you guys uh me just having some sort of like rage moment because there was some rage moments off recording before getting on into this episode uh not not just really just because of that puzzle but there was also some other new enemies uh that were also located within the bombless cave uh because uh there was like some of these worm type enemies that was like somewhat of a problem but you just want to don't like want to stay up too close in front with those guys because they will swallow you up and i think they will do like i think like two bits of damage of of heart damage which uh that's not good at all whatsoever uh but uh if you guys remember there was like a korok a little while ago and uh, that was doing from that whole minecart mission and whatnot during from the last episode uh but i do have this now i do have the korok seeds uh which that is like uh yeah, because you can get like two Korok seeds uh, from this type of uh, Korok mission that you can go and do with that. Uh, but I know that there's like several different other ones. I know that there's going to be like at least like over like 999 of those just like how Breath of the Wild was. Uh, but we do have these bubble gems though. And I went and found a second one uh, that was already within the bottomless cave. So very nice about with that. So let's go and ascend once more and head on in through this type of particular spot. And uh, all that I'm going to do here within this episode, guys, I don't know if I already want to said this already, but I'm just going to just go and just tackle out with just only just the shrine here. Uh, nothing else. Uh, I'm not going to go and worry about having to head back to the Temple of Time or anything yet. I'll do that uh, off recording and then I'll head on over to the Temple of Time uh, just so that we don't have to go and cross on through uh, this annoying type of uh, stuff that's going to happen with the, well, having to go and head it back outside and then having to deal with all those lost of hearts again, but... I'm going to go and just uh, open it up from here. And uh, we got ourselves with a construct bow. So there's no embers at all whatsoever. So I'm kind of... I, I, I don't know why uh, that they have no embers here. Because normally in a dungeon, you would normally kind of find some of those. Yeah, so for what we need to do is just basically cut down these guys down to size. And that should kind of help ourselves out a little bit on reaching on top of that type of particular spot. So let's go and ascend up through here just like so. Don't make, uh, don't want to go and try to hit the B button because that will uh, make you descend all the way back. But let's go and ascend over here once more. Just kind of have to wait for this platform to kind of get finished down here. But yes, you can also go and cross through these guys as well with the ascend ability. And uh, hopefully, uh, if we can just try to reach out over here to the other platform, we can be able to just head right on into it. Yep, just like that. Perfect. And I think we yeah, have finally made it with just only uh, seven minutes, so really nice. And I think also too, what I am gonna go and do is just basically skip through this part just so that you guys don't have to, don't have to go and see throughout this type of type of part here because we've already seen Raru so many different times. Uh, and there we go. You guys saw with the light of blessing, another one of these orbs again. And we're all fully back up and healed again. So yes, thank you for that, Raru. And I think we are going to be meeting up with him once and for all again. And uh, he's going to probably let us know that with all the different three things that we went and did, Temple of Time should now be open. And there's still that random flying dragon up there. But here we are. How's it going? So I see that you restored some power to that new armor of yours. Yes, we have. So the door into the Temple of Time should now be open for you. Cool. 
And uh, with that being said in mind, he, he now goes and disappears. But now what we have to go and do is uh, basically now, let me just get myself all saved up just so that I don't have to get myself into a game over just yet. But uh, now all that we have to go and do is just reach right over to the Temple of Time, which is just not all that too far away from us. It's just literally right in that type of vicinity there. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, stay tuned uh, for Pokemon Coliseum if you guys want to go and watch that one as well. And uh, I'll see you guys then. And of course, uh, don't forget to comment, like, all, subscribe, and peace.